I'm actually like right here. You sitting down? John just called me. What? Only heard the static. What did he say? Wants me to meet him. Heading over there right now. That's fantastic news, Cole. Yeah, I'll say. Finally starting to see some light at the end of this damn tunnel. Convince him to come in, but don't push too hard. He's been undercover for a long time, so he might be a little paranoid. If he feels threatened, he'll run. Don't worry. I'll handle it. I'm great at threatening people. Wait, did you say not to threaten him or to threaten him super hard? Either way, I'm going to try to threaten him as much as I can. There's a lot of shards up here. Uh, sad that I drowned. Because I would have preferred to collect more shards in that area, but... It happens sometimes. I think it's just like under this. Where's this one? There you are, shard. Oh, oh, okay, we're good. How many have I collected? Yeah, like under this little bridge. This is like another shanty town, but this is a good guy's shanty town. This is just where normal people shanty up. C climb. C -c Cole, c climb. We're good. All right, can I see how many shards I have? That drops just shows me. Luigi Galvani. Uh, I can save my data and I think that would tell me. Because it also tells you how there's like 350 of them or something. How many were there? Maybe if I load. No, I just want to look. Uh, we can pull... Leave it at 91? Is, wait, no. Yeah? Yeah. 91% completed? I feel like there's a lot more. But look, we collect 157 blast shards out of 350. Pretty good. 91%. That's from, like, my mind games. That completion is, has to be off. Yeah, cancel that load. Because mind games was a while ago. Maybe that... No, I was going to say maybe it has to do with just collectibles, maybe just story missions? I guess just story missions would make sense, right? Because even if... Hmm. I don't know how many story missions we've done. <laughs> I don't know. That percentage seems real off. But hey, we're almost halfway done with the shards. Did I collect this one? I guess I did. Alright. Wait, what? This is too much. I just got a call from some FEMA paper pusher telling me I need to stop my broadcast because I'm inciting panic and stoking anger. Said I could be tried for treason. Treason? Wow. They lock us up in here, piss all over our constitutional rights, and I'm the traitor? The audacity of these idiots is mind-boggling. If they want me shut down, they're gonna have to come in and drag me out of here. Until that happens, I'm staying put. I want, like, the last thing we see from him is that they actually come to his place and drag him out. John, you here? John, John White, we are here to extract you. Please maintain your current position. You brought a chopper? I told you to come along. They're not with me. I don't know who they are. Damn it. John, they're, they're probably from Moya. here to help you. Why the hell did you send a chopper? John took off. I didn't send anything. If it's the first sons, you need to get to John before they do. Follow that chopper and don't let it out of your sight. I still think Mortara did it. Gotta follow that chopper. One other thing. It looks like John is scrambling this signal because all I get is static. I'm trusting you on this one, Cole. Keep me informed. It's dangerous like to I trust me. Uh, uh oh, I don't know where I should be going. I probably should have climbed. I feel like climbing would have been better, because look at how the thing... Oh, yeah, climbing definitely would have been better. This is where my story ends. Chopper's gone. I lost it. You're losing the chopper, Cole. Yeah, I can tell. God, 
I can barely control myself when flying. Don't lose them, Cole. I'm working on it. Like, there has to be a clear path they want you to take, and I just screwed it up. You're falling too far behind. It's okay, I collected the shard. Alright, let's try this again. So, I, I definitely think going this way was the correct call first time around. From, oh, over there. I didn't see this one. Alright. Yeah, so like something like this is what I need to be doing. Which again, obvious, I just missed the one that would have helped. See, this is a lot cooler than me just bumbling on the ground. Uh, alright, now I'm a little lost. Uh oh. I botched it again. I should be able to save it. We're close enough to the chopper, I think we can still save it. I think they want me to probably use the, um... Those, like, extendy bits at points, probably. To, like, extend my reach. But it's fine, we're making our way. She's not yelling at me right now. If she starts yelling at me, then we know there's a problem. But, I mean, I see the helicopter. We're good. As long as we stay on the roof, we should just be fine, I think. Oh, oh no. Okay. I say that we're kind of losing roof here. We can probably climb back up that way. I should have gone that way. There's a lot of paths. Can't blame me for not knowing where to go. Why did you not climb the thing that would make it easier, Cole? Can't blame me for not always knowing where to go. Alright, well, that, that shard's there, and I want it, but I also don't want to fail this mission, so... What happened? Why did I, like... get kind of knocked down there? I, I hate seeing these shards. Also, that roll was not supposed to happen. We're fine, though. We're not getting yelled at. We're doing good. Uh, this way. Too bad there's a dead drop that I would want, but it's, uh, fine. Don't worry about it. Where are we going? This way. We might get yelled at. But only a little bit of yelling. I'm weak. I need that one. No, climb! You fool! Get to John! I guess that's John. Hello, I'm here. Taken me in. That doesn't quite look the same as his portrait did. That was a good gunfire, John. Great. Gotta worry about another golem. For some reason, I thought that guy that was cowering behind the golem was a, um... Damn thing is gonna throw the chopper's gas tank at me. And even if it doesn't score a direct hit, the explosion's still gonna mess me up. I could shoot the tank now, use it to blow off the golem's arm. That'd make my life easier. But the explosion will incinerate all of those injured people. Why are they there? Well, I can just wait it out. Oh, I still got hit. Good action. Uh, one of those injured people I thought was a duck in one of those scenes, and it confused me. I like a new move. I'm still blowing up innocent people now, but I'm working on it. I'm dying already. What happened? Can you even like hit me? Well, ooh, ooh. got a sneaky hit, and also that climbing was good. Whoa, nope, nope. That really wasn't too protective for me, but whatever. Blow off an arm would be nice. Wonder, is it better to snipe his face? 
Didn't seem like it. Can't really do too much to me in this corner now, can ya? Also, I forgot I have shield. Shield might be helpful. But again, like, all he'll do now is the wrecking ball that he'll throw at me and that doesn't really do much. It's easy enough to deal with compared to the Gatling. I'm working on it! This is kind of a lamed out way to fight this thing, but it worked out. And everyone's hanging out by it. What are they doing? John. John. Hey man, it's clear. He's dead. Great. Oh, he's left. I save his life and he bails. <laughs> Look, I'm still dying. Secrets revealed. I revealed all the secrets. I think this is where I died before. This is where I like fell down, I think. <laughs> Five seconds before they can triangulate my position, and I plan on being gone before then. So keep your mouth shut and listen. I know you're not with the agency, too undisciplined, too cocky, but I also know that you want the same thing I do the Ray Sphere. You're gonna help me get it. So you know where it's at. One of my UAVs spotted it on top of Alden's tower. Find someone to help you retrieve it, someone you can trust. One minute, 52 seconds. What do you want me to tell Moya? Who the hell's Moya? Uh, your wife? You're getting played. I've never been married and don't know anyone named Moya. One minute, 19 seconds. You're screwing with me, right? She's an FBI agent just like you. <laughs> FBI agent? Yeah, that'd be the day. I hate those bastards. I was being lied to? Me, but I'll know when you have the Ray Sphere. Once it's in your possession, we'll figure out how to destroy that damn thing. I can't believe Moya would lie to me, Cole. First glimpse of a device Kessler called I guess that is how John looked. I don't know why I thought he looked different. Hey. Oh, Zeke, Listen, I was really dead something. zoning. Well, that a fact? Well, you made it sound like I wasn't worth a damn. Look, we can't talk about this over the phone. Just meet me over by that big tower the transients are building, and I'll fill you in. Cool. Get over here. Sure, man. I'll see you there. You assholes. They make it so difficult. All right, we got it though. We unlocked the stunt. They just like running around. Deliver a thunder drop takedown on a conduit. Uh, it would definitely help to upgrade my thunder drop then. Does that do damage? It blast force. It's like takedown. So I guess that does mean a kill. Probably would be easier to do against the Reaper fellows. I'm also kind of shocked that I didn't do that yet. Just like by accident, but whatever. I'll uh, work on that when I see a conduit. Uh, I should see also climb. Cole, please, I beg of you. God damn it. Okay, fine. We'll go around. Why is Cole gotta be like this? Hua! Nailed it. Alright, can I uh listen to that dead drop again? First glimpse of a device Kessler calls the Ray Sphere. It's about the size of a basketball. I don't is that the newest one? It says this is older, but appears to contact established with the first sons. Met a woman who called herself Jane, and she asked me a variety of questions, including whether Yeah, I guess it was the Ray Spear one. Not I bet first glimpse of a device Kessler calls the Ray Sphere. It's about the size of a basketball and appears to be constructed from two halves that are connected via an array of electric cables and silicon boards. An unknown object occupies its center. At first blush, it looks like a bomb of some type. Gonna have to track it carefully. Oh, we didn't even really miss that much. It's hard to tell because for the most part, all of his uh, dead drops kind of cover similar topics. So I just assume that like, I've already listened to them. But I'm pretty sure that like Jane one was the oldest one we found, so 
Oop, didn't want to be on this side. Alright, well that's fine. Another dead drop close by, might as well get it. So I would like to grab all these just because they do have lore. Audio recording of Kessler follows. Experiment number 34J. Placing a male rat of average size into a lead box. The ray sphere is in a secondary chamber adjacent to test subject. All previous experiments have ended Come in here. instantaneous no. death of the subject. Closing the lid, activating the ray sphere. Ray sphere is cycling down. And wait. I can hear the subject moving. Unbelievable! It's flying! Damn it! Shoot it! Shoot it! <laughs> oh shoot ha! Shoot ha! Why just cause it's flying? What was it? it? Was a rat? Pretty sure you just said it was a rat. Damn flying rat. I also picture so obviously him saying shoot it like that. First thought was Jurassic Park. But my second thought is it flying around and causing a giant nuisance like the zombie cat in uh, Reanimator. Cause that's a that's a classic scene right there. Is them just dealing with the cat. There's more. I want. I want to collect all these. Where's this? We'll grab this one. I'll grab the uh, shards that are right here, and then we'll go do the mission. Kessler and Sasha had a very public falling out today. No real details about what prompted it, but it concluded with Sasha physically attacking Kessler. I was ordered to escort Sasha from the premises, which I did. As she left, Sasha turned and looked at me and said that she'd be back that will suffer and die by her hand. But I admit, the look on her face freaked me out a bit. I expect to be reassigned to Kessler. I don't know. It seems like you guys have her handholds. They like caught her, right? They were the ones that Audio took her in. Of Kessler follows. Experiment 52C. A full-grown male chimpanzee is connected to the ray sphere via six electrodes. Mitch. Go ahead and turn the meter to 10. The subject is experiencing minor discomfort. Turn it up to 15. Interesting. Let's go to 20. Subject is now in obvious pain and is bleeding from the nose and ears. Go up to 28, Mitch. Damn it. I'm sure he'll love 28. Well, that didn't work as I expected. Mitch, get someone in here to clean that up. Did it explode? <laughs> I feel like we should have heard like a noise of a chimpanzee blowing up or something. Although that would be somewhat gruesome, wouldn't it? So maybe it's for the best that they didn't. Give me the shard! Nailed it. Alright. So uh, I'm pretty sure this is the tower climb. So this will be fun. Do I have any... Uh, I needed like what 30 200 for the shield which one's the shield that one, no that that no that one dirt right 300's not bad actually that's my boy I was a little worried you weren't gonna show so what's going on the race sphere is up at the top of this tower once we have it we're getting the hell out of here How are you even gonna get up there, Zeke? We need to climb up this damn thing. Head over to the elevator, and I'll figure out a way to bring you up. Oh, I guess I'm gonna get him up. What a fun tower! I'm sure there are things for me to collect. Also, use my electric powers to wind it up. Apparently, that's good enough. Tick down. Magic. Brandon and John. They told me it's up here. John? You Moya's husband? He says he's not her husband. Never heard of her. What the hell does that mean? It means that one of them she is lied? Lying. Just don't know which one. Damn Probably it. Moya. I told you not to trust the feds. 
You ain't still thinking about turning over the race sphere to him, are you? John says he wants me to help him destroy it. Seems like a good idea to me. Destroy it? Yeah, right. I bet my bottom dollar he just wants to fire that baby up. Or sell it off to someone for some serious cashola. It probably would kill people, Zeke. Might not be a good idea to fire it up. I guess if he wants it for a uh, Kessler or, or something. But I don't, I don't know. Seems not good. I don't think I'm gonna hit anything with this, am I? I would love to be able to like snipe them with my grenades, but it didn't really work out, did it? Well, that guy's definitely dead. Yeah, oh, ooh, okay. Kind of ran into that. Should have expected it. Really should just be doing the uh, shockwave, but I ran out of juice, so it doesn't even matter. A lot of high falls going on here. Yeah, I, I need to go that way. I get you. I understand, game. I already learned how that worked. Where did you come from? How did you get over here? More? Ow! Did you like, throw a grenade at me? That would hit hard. Let's give you a good kick. All right. Is that everyone? Can they can they stop? All right. Doesn't seem like there's really anything climbing this tower at the moment. But I kind of feel like there will be. Zeke's really helping so far. It's fine. I, I still feel bad for being mean to him about the prison. Alright, well, he'll just hang out again. Raise the third elevator. Just make our way up. I think I would have seen if there was any shards on this. So I'm pretty sure it would have just procced on my map since we're climbing up. I just wanted to make sure. Just double check. I'm kind of surprised there's no dead drops around here. Unless if it's just not picking it up because we're so far away. I also thought I was going to fall there for a minute. That would have been embarrassing. I, I gotta take the leap. Nailed it. So you do get like enough movement forward if you don't try to like adjust at all. Any adjustment seems to kind of botch it for you. Will you just stop moving in any direction? Or at least that seems to be my problem. Alright, who, who, who dares? That doesn't count as a shot. Who dares shoot me while I'm climbing? While I'm parkouring up a trash heap? A very large, very tall trash heap. Kind of cool. I kind of like giant trash tower. Yeah, I figured you guys would show up. Oop. Too bad these guys don't count as conduits. Alright, let's knock you down. I'm working on so Ooh, that's a conduit. If I just keep doing this, will this eventually kill? Well, if, I mean, he fell. But I think that probably would work. Is he dead yet? Still fallen? Is he, like, not dead? Did that fall not kill him? Cole, come on, man. Get this elevator moving. Maybe I got the conduit kill and this is, like, someone else. I don't know. Zeke's being cranky, though. I like that there's just a bus over here. Alright, I don't think I really missed anything this way. Looks like this is just where the other elevator is. So if I could get that conduit man just in a corner and just keep spamming the thunder drop, eventually that you should know, really technically kill. Never happened to me. I'm nothing but a damn errand boy. Same as before. Going where people tell me, when they tell me, I'm starting to think that's never going to change. No way, man. Once we get that race fair, nobody will say as much as boo to either one of us. He can mark my words on that one. I hope you're right, Zeke. 
I really do. I guess this is the top. I mean, there's more top. I this looks like this is the place. What's with this like ground? Is that lava? Oh, look at that. Uh, I don't think that would be a good thing to hey, use the, the thunder on? drop on. I know you. <laughs> He's got like a Lock little me up like an animal. Tied me viewing like room. Try to electrocute me. I showed you though. You and those pigs. Where these other guys come from? Just shockwave everyone off. Where's electricity? I know why you're here. Oh, that's the race sphere. Nobody's taking a damn thing from me. It's right there. I would like it a lot. Oh, that's a conduit, but ow. Again, I wasn't able to do it because he was like right there. Do it. Go. Do it. Do it. Oh, I can't believe the golem came alive. Who would have seen this coming? When my tower is complete, I will be reborn. That shield's real helpful. Being able to charge up. That makes things a lot easier. Oh, look, helicopter. You need me to kill this enemy. I gotcha, man. Ow. Did that kill me immediately? What even happened? When my tower is complete, I will be reborn. This tired old body will be gone. Replaced by cold, steel, and concrete. And then I will fulfill my destiny. By God, I'll take what's mine. Probably should karmic overload just to get some damage off. Damn thing will budge. Need more time. Yeah, that karmic overload's nice. It does take from my actual karma though. So I guess that's why I would want to upgrade to uh, get people uh, restrained. Oh, he's just here. You stole my childhood. Teleport it off of the helicopter. You dare come here. Poor, poor Alden. All that potential squandered. Your father would have been so disappointed. I love Kessler's design. You dare mention my father. I'll kill you. All of you. Tear you from limb to limb. Seek Why isn't Alden doing anything? Run. Zeke yanked the ray sphere out of its cradle and was caught between Alden and Kessler. It was definitely time to escape. But he just stood there. Petrified. You see, through the fear, he realized that the key to his dreams, the tool to make him super-powered, was right between his hands. Didn't even hesitate. Makes the choice to kill thousands, stealing their lives so that he'll. I take what uh what I said back about the police station thing. Nothing. Not police station. It was fun. prison, but. No change at all. Kessler's uh, first kind of a dirtbag. Claims to know what's wrong. If Zeke brings him the ray sphere, Kessler will be able to give Zeke the powers he craves. My best friend looks me in the eye and then makes his second mistake. Alden goes ballistic at the loss of the sphere. The tower shakes and it starts to rip apart. But I was just dumbfounded. Barely felt the impact. Oh, I'm dead. Zeke betrayed me. Yeah, that's a real dirtbag move. Like Cole said. Willing to risk thousands. Slightly more evil? What did I do? Is, wait, wait, wait. Is that just because I did the karmic overload? <laughs> That might be the only reason that made me slightly more evil. I told you to pick someone you could trust. 93 seconds. 
Zeke's my best friend, like a brother to me. He's about the only person I do trust. Or did, anyway. Well, you blew it. And now Alden's on a killing spree, and Kessler has the Ray Sphere. We need to resolve both situations. 63 seconds. I'm starting to think none of this is my problem. Maybe I should just let those two slug it out, and then swoop in and nab the sphere when the dust settles. What if one of them activates it and kills another 10,000 people in the process? Who cares? Who the hell knows what that Moya person wants with it? No. This is the only way. 38 seconds. You'd better be serious about destroying it. I'm in no mood. You have my word. Alden's heading into the historic district. Catch up to him, take him out, and then look for Kessler. I want the shard. Be in touch. Uh, to no surprise to anyone, probably, the historic district is Third Island. Where's the, uh, the drop? I want the dead drop. It's right here. Audio recording of Kessler follows. Oh god, where'd yes, you come from? I'd like to schedule a package for delivery. No, just one. Would it be possible to request a specific courier? I see. Well, I'm sure they're all reliable, but there's only one I trust. His name is Cole McGrath. Yes, I'll hold. So he wanted Cole specifically? If you recall from, I think like the first thing you hear in the game, I think it's Kessler's voice. He says like, things are looking nominal. Uh... All of our, like, statistics are up and whatnot. I don't know. Dumb science jargon. And then he says, looking good, Cole. So, he definitely wanted this to happen. But why? What makes Cole so special? Is it because he's the best dang delivery man out there? 